Hello traders, um, my name is Bash and um, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Bitcoin, I'm going to be talking about the Ethereum, I'm going to be talking about the Ethereum BTC. So basically we're going to be talking about the cryptocurrencies in this video. So guys check this out. Um, so I have the Bitcoin price chart open and um, let's look at some of the technical analysis that is backing up um, these uh, particular uh cryptocurrency right so as you guys can see um if you have been following my updates on the bitcoin um i posted back in january that the bitcoin was going to fall and yes it did it respected my analysis and you know the bitcoin is in a bear market right now so basically we are seeing a correction in the market right now we're seeing a reversal building up right we're seeing a reversal on the bitcoin at the moment right as you guys can see i predicted that the bitcoin was to drop to this price level the 20k 18k price level and then um there was a reversal happening at that um, support level so guys let's go let's dive deep into this um so let me open the rsi chart so if you guys see this rsi chart um i posted a video about it when i saw it i saw that you know there was a deep right on the bitcoin price there was a dip and then the price came back into the what the falling word channel so basically what we're expecting on bitcoin is a breakout right so what price is currently doing is just basically accumulating orders from both buyers and sellers from <laughs> every direction so price is accumulating a lot of orders and that's why we are seeing uh quite low volume um in the bitcoin market right now we, we aren't seeing you know huge volatility or huge volume right so basically once the orders are being accumulated and then we expect what a breakout so we expect a breakout either to the upside or we expect a breakout either to the downside so guys so let's look at this um falling wedge as you guys can see on the price chart we can see that there was a dip and when there is a dip like this price is likely to go back into the channel and then break out of the of the falling wedge right so guys this is on the this is on the weekly time frame by the way right so now let's let's go back to the bitcoin price chart all right so as you guys can see you can see that you know for so many weeks we have been having a correction right but the correction is quite slow the movement is quite slow compared to the what to the drop as you guys can see the the bears in the market you can see how fast they are you can see all these long huge candlesticks which shows what or represents um high volume in the market right compared to um the buys so basically what happened in the market is that whenever we experience a very huge volume for a very long time we are we are likely to see what a slowdown in price action right we are likely to see a slowdown in price movement as you guys can see in the past you know there was a big drop um then consolidation and then another big drop like that like that always happen all the time so yeah we are either expecting the bitcoin price to what to continue to sell or continue to buy so this is a key level right this blue line that i mark here is a key level for bitcoin right so two things needs to happen if bitcoin comes back to this line and break this line then we expect that the bitcoin is going to sell lower possibly all the way to maybe five thousand eight thousand price level right but if that does not happen right if that does not happen then we are likely to see what higher prices on the bitcoin so guys let's go into the daily time frame so that we can see what's going on in the bitcoin so i'm gonna go to the daily now so yeah so um as you guys can see look at this um channel that i that i drew here so we have this channel here we have this channel of price basically price is just going up down up down like this in between this channel right so let me let me use this um tool so that you guys can see the channel um clearly so this is the um, i think it's the parallel yeah the parallel channel so i'm gonna draw it like this and then bring it down like this so i'm just gonna adjust it a little bit so that we can see that this is a channel right as you guys can see clearly so this is the channel and price is in that channel price is what trading in that channel we're seeing something like this up down up down up down up down now what do we expect when we see a channel forming like this we expect a breakout of that channel to the upside or we expect a breakout of the channel to the downside one thing has to happen that's just it one thing has to happen that is the demand needs to be greater than supply right demand greater than supply or 
supply greater than demand one of these two has to happen right because this is basically the fundamental factors governing what the financial market fundamental factors governing the financial market right so we're expecting something to happen on the bitcoin we're expecting this to happen right we're expecting higher prices on bitcoin that's what i that's what i can see right now right that's what i can see based on my analysis based on my assessment right as you guys can see if you if you strongly believe in my assessment um press the the like button below in the channel press uh, press uh, the like button and make sure you subscribe to this video if you guys want more analysis like this um so guys so we're either expecting a breakout to the upside or a breakout to the downside one thing has to happen but currently my prediction is that the bitcoin is going to experience what higher prices as you guys can see this channel there has to be what a breakout at one point in time right you can see that this has been for too long like since june all the way to august right from 18th of june when the um supply was taking over demand and then the supply the the sellers were out and then the buyers started to what to take over right slowly so we are expecting a breakout to the upside so that's what i'm seeing on the bitcoin price and our target level is going to be this pool of liquidity here we have a pool of liquidity we have a pool of pool of um orders in this uh price level here so this is a key level that we are going to be watching out for the bitcoin price and when price gets to this level there's but po there's possibly going to be a reaction before we see higher prices right when price gets to that level we are likely to see um higher prices right if price should break this level right once price break the key level then we're expecting the bitcoin to go all the way to what to 38k right we're expecting the bitcoin to go to the 38k price level let me mark the 38k um price level right here so we have the 38k here so we're expecting that the bitcoin price is likely to do something like this or oh, let me use this for a better representation right so we're expecting this to happen on the bitcoin price right so this is what we're expecting right we're expecting a huge um big big breakout we're expecting a very big breakout on the bitcoin price right something is gonna happen in the coming weeks right is either this week or next week i can't possibly say right but something is going to happen very very soon but this analysis favors the buys than the what than the sell right so um so yeah let's let's go back to let's go back to the weekly or the monthly to see what's going on right so as you guys can see the monthly the monthly time frame all we can see is that you know last month was bullish right the previous month was bearish so there is a correction going on in the market so this is a very critical decision for bitcoin right now right that is where the price is currently uh price is currently trading at um twenty three thousand dollars right so we're expecting a reaction from here this is where the big reaction is going to happen right is either the price continue to sell like this or the price continue to work to go higher right as i've said earlier this favors the buys than the work than the sell but let's see let's see this is just a speculation right this is just a prediction right you can't be so um you can't be 100 percent certain in the market what's gonna happen especially when it comes to cryptocurrency right when it comes to cryptocurrency there are a lot of things that affect the the bitcoin price that affect the cryptocurrency prices right there is a lot of fundamental factors there's a lot of you know so many things somebody might come today and say oh uh they are they stopped mining bitcoin and all and then you see a very big drop in the bitcoin price or elon musk can come and say oh i want to sell all of my bitcoin portfolio and then you know uh so yeah um i think recently like maybe some weeks back elon musk sold about 75 percent of his bitcoin portfolio and then there was a drop 
on the Bitcoin price as at then, right? So those are the type of things that affect the, the, the movement of the price, right? The Bitcoin price. So yeah, so that is my analysis on the Bitcoin price. And if we have a very huge breakout, we're expecting the Bitcoin price to go all the way to what? $100,000. Hundred thousand dollars. It might not be this year. It might be in the coming years to come. It might be in 2023, in 2024. But yeah, we are expecting um, a breakout. Price does not move uh, to its it to its uh, price doesn't move to its destination in just one day. It takes so many months before price gets there. You have to be very patient as a trader, right? You have to be very very patient if you if you want to trade cryptocurrencies. In particular, you have to be very, very patient. You have to. It's, it's an investment. It's a lifetime investment, all right? So let's look at um, the Ethereum price now and let's see some analysis. Let's see what's going on on the Ethereum, um, Coinbase. Let me see what's here. What do we have here? All right, so let me remove drawings and then go to the daily. Oh, actually, let's start with the month. As you guys can see, we have um, we have a reaction here. So I'm gonna draw this line. We have a reaction, right? We have a reaction on the Ethereum price here, and you guys can see there was what there was a previous resistance that turned into what into support, and then the price started to buy from there you see guys um support and resistance is very important in trading all right it's very very key you know you are able to see where price is likely to go to reverse or where price is likely to work to continue to to sell right as you guys can see the last month um july was bullish for the ethereum price right and then this new month just opened because we're still in the seven is it the seven? Yeah, we're still in the seventh day of August, right? So this candlestick is still very, very tiny. You know, the August is still a very um. It's still we still have so many days in August, so we're expecting something to occur. So let's go into the weekly time frame so that we can see what's going on in the bit in the Ethereum price. As you guys can see, you can see the reaction, right? So so many weeks now Ethereum has been buying. You know, so let's look at the rsi as well we also have something similar on the on the rsi right you can see what we're talking about we have the the, the falling wedge right the same thing the the prices are almost uh, the structure of the bitcoin are almost the same and the ethereum um uh stru structure structure they, they, they look the same right but it's, it's different so you guys see that check this out guys you see the dip right look at the dip and then price back into the channel if you guys notice this you can see that ethereum moves faster than bitcoin why do i say that because if you look at the falling wedge the rsi of the bitcoin you see that it's it's just around this price level here but ethereum is all the way up so it's, it's about to break that um it's about to break that falling wedge right it's about to break you we're expecting an explosion of price very very soon right you guys see what i'm talking about we're expecting something to happen right we're expecting the price to go all the way right let me delete this all right let's go back to the price chart now so as you guys can see it's all the way up if you had bought ethereum at this price man you would have your portfolio would have been close so 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 present it right your portfolio would have been you know uh growing right now you would have made some profit on this um trade right so guys let's go to the four hour or the five hour let's go to the five hour and then reset this all right oh i need to delete this okay good you guys see what i'm talking about you see that the ethereum is even faster right let me draw the parallel channel so i'm just gonna connect this like this right I'm gonna connect this and then bring these like this can you guys see what's going on here right you guys see you see these so let me go back to 501 now all right cool 
so as you guys can see ethereum is quite you know quite fast so, so yeah this is a critical level for ethereum you guys we have a bunch of orders let me go to the eight hours we have a bunch of orders here we have a bunch of buying and selling activity here so we're expecting the price to what to break this area once the price break this level right once the price breaks this level here let me draw a box let me draw a box so i'm gonna drop a box like this so once the price breaks this level right once price get out of that box let me draw this right we are expecting this to happen so possibly ethereum is going back into the 2000 price level right the 2000 price level right price is currently trading below the 2000 right and then let me show you guys the the ema so i'm gonna go to the weekly uh, so let's go to the weekly now um and then pull up the ema right let me pull up the ema ema moving average yeah that's it so the 200 moving average is what we're gonna be looking at now nah, that's not what i wanted so i'm just gonna go to settings now change these imputes let's see um 200 right guys check this out check this out check this out um let's go to the daily let's go to the daily let's go to the monthly okay let's let's go back to the daily okay good 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 let's let's see here as you guys can see what's going on here you can see the price is currently trading above the 200 ema right the price is currently trading above the exponential moving average right here as you guys can see right you guys see that the price is respecting this 200 ema right price came all the way up right there was a correction in market and then we have what another impulse right we have another correction here currently price is still above the 200 ema until price breaks below the 200 ema like this then we are likely to see lower prices right but as for now we are likely to see what higher prices right so yeah let's let's go look at um ethereum btc now and see who is doing better so i'm gonna take this out right let's see who is doing better so as you guys can see it looks like um ethereum is 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 outweighing the bitcoin right because it's faster than the bitcoin ethereum is outweighing the the bitcoin so this is also another key level key decision level for the ethereum btc right ethereum btc so when the price breaks this level right when the price breaks this level we're expecting this to happen when price breaks this level we're expecting that price go what higher right so yeah so that's it guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you invite other members to my channel to like comment and subscribe so that we can get this um so we can get this going very very strong all right guys um i hope you guys have a blessed week i hope to make sure you trade smart and um stay safe all right peace